Hey, what's going on, everybody? Liam here, Everything NYJ. Happy Easter. I hope you guys all had a happy and safe Easter holiday. Maybe you got to eat some good ham or whatever you guys ate. Uh, so over the past couple of days, there's been a couple of uh, New York Jets signings, a couple moves here and there that I couldn't really get to talk about throughout the week. I had a very crazy week, uh, you know, just with work and everything else. Life happens. So I figured we could go over a couple of these signings. And as a content creator, I feel obligated to bring you guys this news and just kind of give our thoughts and reactions on what's going on with a couple of these guys, what I think of them, who are they. So getting into the first one. Uh, the New York Jets have signed quarterback Tim Boyle. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw this, I automatically said, who the hell's Tim Boyle? I'm not going to sit here and pretend to tell you that I knew who this guy was. I'm willing to bet that most of you guys probably didn't know who he was either. And if you did, then, well, good for you. So he was undrafted in 2018. And from the research I've done, I kind of see that he has a strong arm. Uh, he's pretty mobile. He's a big body guy. I think he's like uh, six foot four, two and change. So he has a good body for an NFL quarterback. You know, he played under our offensive coordinator, uh, coordinator, excuse me, Nathaniel Hackett in Green Bay from 2018 to 2020. He played with the Lions in 2021 to 2022, played with the Bears, the Chicago Bears in 2022, and he found his way to the New York Jets here in 2023. Uh, most likely just going to be here for this upcoming season. And it makes sense. I mean, he has the, the history with Nathaniel Hackett. He's played behind Aaron Rodgers, so he knows the system. It just makes sense for the New York Jets. I mean, maybe Zach Wilson could give him help. I don't think he's going to be giving Aaron Rodgers any type of help anytime soon. Uh, getting into Aaron Rodgers a little bit, um, Boomer Siason just came out and asked him straight up, uh, Joe Douglas, is Aaron Rodgers going to be a New York Jet? Which Joe Douglas responded, he's going to be here. So there's no other team. There's no reason to worry about any of this nonsense. Uh, the deal is going to get done. It's probably going to be at the draft or right before the draft. I give it up until night two before I really start to kind of panic. But even at that point, I won't truly be panicking because right now it's just going to be the New York Jets. Uh, getting back to Tim Boyle, he has three touchdowns, eight interceptions for 574 yards. Like I said, I don't think this guy is going to be lighting the world on fire anytime soon. I don't think he's uh, even going to be a, a good serviceable backup like a Mike White probably going to be quarterback three and we're not even sure if he's actually going to make the team i mean as of right now uh on this roster we have zach wilson tim boyle and of course chris strevler so you got to imagine that the jets are probably going to be carrying three quarterbacks most likely aaron Rodgers, zach wilson and either chris strevler or tim boyle these two guys are probably going to be the ones duking it out in practice for that third backup spot uh another uh, signing Quentin Jefferson, the defensive tackle, uh, most famously from Seattle. He's a former fifth-round draft pick in 2016, 30 years old. He played with the Seahawks in 2016, the Rams in 2017, the Seahawks once again from 2017 to 2019. He played with the Buffalo Bills in 2020, the Raiders in 2021, and the third time with the C uh, Seattle Seahawks in 2022. And then he found his way over to the green and white here in New York in 2023. I like this move. I, I really do. I mean, he played all 17 games last year, started in three uh, over his career. He has 158 tackles, 20 and a half sacks, three forced fumbles and three fumble recoveries. He's a good depth piece, you know. I mean, that's what it is. Robert Sala and Jeff Ulbrich, they love their depth. They love their rotation. And that's what he is. He's a rotational piece. Uh, obviously, the New York Jets lost uh, Nate Shepard and Sheldon Rankins. So this is just a really good move to bring back to the defensive line. Nothing really crazy. I think he's going to probably get some snaps, some targets. But I don't think that he's going to be a main vocal point, somebody like a Sheldon Rankins was last year. And you got to think, you know, are the New York Jets going to continue to find some of these free agent guys, signing guys, or, or are they going to be looking towards the uh, upcoming draft to fill their needs there? But whatever the case is, they do need some more depth on this defensive line. So in other news, the New York Jets have re-signed punter Thomas Morstead to a cheap one-year deal. He's 37 years old. He's a former fifth-round draft pick all the way back in 2009. 
He played with the New Orleans Saints from 2009 all the way up to 2020. He played with the New York Jets, if you guys remember. You guys remember uh, Thomas Morstead in 2021. He filled in for Braden Mann back in 2021 when Braden Mann had his back injury. He was pretty decent. I mean, he, I believe he got cut in November of that year, but don't quote me on that. Uh, he played with the Falcons later on in 2021. And then uh, last year in 2022, he played with the Miami Dolphins. And now he is back in 2023 with the New York Jets. I think he's definitely an upgrade over Braden Mann. Uh, he's a former Super Bowl champion back in 2010. He has 798 punts. He's averaging about 46 and a half yards. His longest is 70 yards. And he has 297 punts inside the 20. So you got to imagine that somewhere, you know, during training camp, him and Braden Mann are going to be duking it out for the starting punting job. I honestly want to see uh, Thomas Morstead over Braden Mann. Braden Mann, you know, was just – he was shank central last year. Braden Mann sucks. I mean, he had a couple good punts here and there, whatever. But overall, Braden Mann sucks. I think it's time to move on from him. Braden Mann's a former – 2020 draft pick by Joe Douglas. So I think that Joe Douglas is going to be comfortable moving on from uh, Braden Mann, and then we are most likely going to be keeping Thomas Morstead. So in other news, this one eh, upsets me a little bit, but not really. OBJ. He was supposed to be meeting with the New York Jets tomorrow, taking a physical at the facility, and then he was most likely going to be signing a contract. I mean, we've all seen OBJ walking around at the uh, Phoenix uh, basketball game. The Phoenix Suns with the New York Jets head coach, Aaron Ro uh, I almost said Aaron Rodgers. Robert Saul, excuse me. Uh, yeah, he was supposed to be a New York Jet. However, the Baltimore Ravens have agreed to terms with him. That little flock swooped right in and signed OBJ to a one-year deal up to $18 million. So good for OBJ. I mean, he got paid. But, I mean, the question remains now for the New York Jets. Uh, we have Alan Lazard. We have Corey Davis. You know, we have a couple other guys. Uh, what's his, uh, Michael Hardman, we have Garrett Wilson. Are we going to be going after any more guys? Are we going to be looking towards the draft? Are we going to be signing another free agent? Because I think that it's important to have a pretty deep wide receiver room. I mean, w you could argue that you, we're one injury away from being thin at the position. So, I mean, I wanted OBJ for the right price. I understand, you know, that he might be coming with a headache, but... I mean, it is what it is. I wouldn't have mind OBJ. I mean, I probably would have given him a deal probably up to $10 million with incentives. I didn't want to give him $18 million. Uh, but I'm sure that the Ravens deal, it could get up to $18 million. I don't know the full uh, base deal and just all the little deets of the contract. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up. What do you guys think? Do you guys like these moves? Do you think that Tim Boyle is going to make the team over somebody like a Strebler? Uh What are your thoughts on Quentin Jefferson? Do you think that... Thomas Morstead is going to beat Braden Mann out for the uh, punting job. And what are your thoughts on um, Odell Beckham Jr.? Did you Are you upset that he's not a Jet? Are you happy that he's not a Jet? I, I mean, I've seen people saying, thank God. And I've been seeing, you know, people, oh my God, you know, the Jets are screwed now, kind of. What do you guys think that the Jets are going to be doing now with the wide receiver position? Do you think that we target one in the draft? Do you think that we go after a free agent? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. We'll talk Jets soon.